We are on the set of Blackish right now. The thing I've noticed about this set is it is just literally a full house. The other sets I've been to, they're like half sets, but this is pretty full on. Zendaya, thank you so much for chatting. Is this still pretty crazy for you to be on these massive sets? Of course. I mean, of course. I think this one's obviously different than mine. Mine is like, you know, when we shoot my show, it's a four camera shoot. So like, it's like basically this chopped in half, but they have like a, basically an entire house built <laughs> on a stage, which is very cool, but there's no ceiling. Guest uh, starring, I think you'd call it on Blackish, you know you've made it when you're asked to guest star on something. Um, tell us a bit about your character on this show. Um, well, on this show, I play Rashida. She's basically, she comes in as Zoe's friend and um, find out that she's, you know, a, not necessarily from that neighborhood that they're in and she does not have a father. So she kind of, I think, kind of um, bonds a little bit because of her not having a father with Mr. J. Zoe gets a little jealous and kind of, I think at the end we all learn to appreciate our fathers and our parents. The past year has been insane for you. Um, you've literally gone from Disney star to international sensation. Um, what was that, I guess, transition like for you to now, I guess, being a voice for so many people? Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I think it just comes with growing up, you know what I mean? And, and as I grow, my career grows and people get to know me more. And I think that that is just, you know, just part of the job. And I, I'm very lucky that I get to be in this place where I can kind of use my voice or whatever for a lot of positive things and to do a lot of really cool stuff. So I feel like, you know, entertainment and stuff I do like this is just like a platform for me to be able to do that. Season two, you're in filming now. Does it feel good to have a second season, you know, go on? It does feel really good. I feel like, I mean, like we started working by the second day, it feels like we've been doing this for months. Like not that we had just come back from hiatus. Yeah, and we just, the best part about it is we get to see it. Yeah, just lean across, just lean across. Yeah, Yara, you interview me at this point. So the best part is I get to see my blackish family again. I mean, that's an awesome experience to see them after so long of a hiatus. He was really excited to see me. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Yara! We slow motion ran across each other and gave each other a hug. I was like, ah! Yeah. The set here is incredible. Like, my mind is blown by this place. Do you ever, like, leave and then go, like, to a normal house and go, oh, wait, this isn't as fun? Exactly, because I mean, I feel like the set design here is so intricate and so nice. I mean, you have Buddha over there and then you have family pictures. Yeah, we have so many Buddhas. Yes, yes, we have a lot of Buddhas. I love my room. I tend to fall asleep in the bed whenever I have to do scenes on my bed, which is really difficult. I really want to go and sit on some of the beds, but there's signs yeah. and it's like, do not lie or sit on the beds. <laughs> we ignore the signs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is the best place to take selfies because they have lighting everywhere. Like, I can't deal with this. I'll let, okay. I'll let Yara take this one away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, behind the this, there's like ring lights all around it. And when the ring lights are on, it is the best lighting ever. The lighting literally gets away, uh, gets rid of any acne that you have on your face. Yes. Right now? yes, yes let's okay, do it. Go okay. Yeah, this is our backdrop that we use. Okay, let's let's drive the camera real quick. There it is, we got a, a beautiful selfie. Hey guys, thank you so much for your time. We're getting oh, the yeah. shot. Come on. Thank you so much for your time and all the best with the season. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. With Miles now in the coolest bedroom I've ever seen. How are you? Thank you, I'm good, I'm good. So how old are you now? Um, I'm 10. I'm gonna turn 11 in December. Since you're one of the youngest, or you are the youngest on set, um, do you feel like people ever play pranks on you? Actually, I'm the prankster. What? High five, man. Yes. Major respect yes. for that. What do you do? What do you do on set to, to get people? Well, I don't really prank them, like, set them up. I can't, I don't know how to do that. But what I do do, what I really do, though, is I, I scare people. We've got to talk for a second about how Zendaya is in this episode. How excited on a scale of one to a billion are you? Uh, gazillion. It wasn't even on a scale, so you're like beyond excited. What is it? What is it? Sorry about Zendaya that you love so much. Um, she is really nice. She is a Beyonce lover, and um, and she is a great actress. What was it like meeting her for the first time? I almost had tears. Yeah, no, you have to play totally cool, right? Because you're a star in your own right now. You're a TV star. Yes, yeah, so like like me seeing an, another star would be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna. 
Hi.